Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy National Bird Day. <laughs> Friday. We did it. That's another week. It's an odd week. Seems strange to have a holiday in the week. It seems like all my mental timeline scoots down. <laughs> This morning I put a drop of uh, vanilla extract and a sprinkle of cinnamon in my coffee. Yum, yum, yum. I'm getting ready to start another day, but I realized we hadn't had a chance to visit yesterday. Thursday, my favorite day of the week. I got so much done. Let's see, what did I get done? I made this little jumper for Benjamin Button. <laughs> I realized after I got the ribbing on, it's a, a little long, but I think after I figure out some shoe situation, that will still look very cute. So I got him all done. Um, I used up all of the blue and I found the ball band. So at some point I found this yarn at a thrift store and it's that, um, I thought I saw a year stamped on it. Let me see. Mm, maybe I didn't. It is the Red Heart Baby Yarn. Yeah, it says it's a four weight. It's, a, it's not a medium four, it's definitely a light four. I would say it was a three. So I used a regular baby pattern. Or I think they, she called it a romper. I'll tag it below. And I'm sorry, I don't remember the channel name, but I will definitely give credit um, in the description box below. I used my E-hook, a 3.5. Um, <clears throat> and the reason why I did that, she made it in a five for a um, zero to three month baby. But Benjamin is a preemie. And so I needed to size it down. Plus she used a four four weight yarn and I I don't know I, I really think it's closer to a three but it, it does have that shiny strip of um like that white metallic through it that 80s 90s traditional baby yarn he's got four little buttons I did um stop the pattern she did it quite a bit longer so I also reduced rows according to Benjamin and his size um let's see so I used all of the green I had just a half a skein of green and a little little partial skein of the blue and then I have a huge ball big sloppy ball of the white so Benjamin got white in here and then <laughs> when I'm done with fair and turning the baby items into fair, I figured I would put together just a little basket with some homemade baby clothes that um, kids can play with. And maybe I'll donate it back or I'll find an age appropriate kid that wants to play with baby doll. And I'm in a diaper. Um, the diaper pattern was a little more difficult to size down. I did find a pattern. I will link it in the description box below. I found a pattern for a newborn diaper cover. Um, I can modify this. This this definitely has potential. It needs to be a little shorter in the rows that make the wraparound part. I can't get that button off. It, it's just going to have to be a slide on diaper. I, um, the button was a little too big. I, again, I used a three and a half, three and a half E with the three weight yarn. It required a four and I think she used an H hook. Um, but I can definitely work on more diapers. Babies need a lot of diapers. So I finished that outfit for Benjamin and I plan on making different outfits for him. Little, um, pants and little tops and there's tons of baby patterns on on YouTube and on Ravelry and 
an Etsy. Oh my goodness. And so <clears throat> I also have, yeah, <laughs> the traditional original grandma's going to make you something 80s, 90s yarn. So let's see. Yeah, I didn't, I thought I saw, maybe I looked it up. Oh, so in Ravelry, you can put in yarn and you can look up um, the different attributes of the yarn. And I think I, or substitutes, it'll give you substitutes too. I think I put this brand in and I, it was discontinued 90s, I think. So I started a bag day pattern for a little baby dress. Um, I will link it in the description box below because now I can't remember what it was called. I think it was just she names them so pretty after Evelyn. Um, nope, can't remember. Very lacy, solid top. It'll have a ruffle around the sleeves. And then she does like, um, I think a double V stitch, lacy, big dress. And that will go in the kit with Benjamin. I noticed... <clears throat> on the back of Benjamin, he was made in 1991. And he came from eBay, officially adopted from eBay. And so I was on Etsy and I saw a blue eyed preemie baby for an amazingly good deal and free shipping. So I ordered her and she's being adopted from Etsy and she will be delivered through United States Postal Service. <laughs> she should be here, I think Monday. She's arriving. She's due to arrive on Monday. And so um, I, I wanna have a little dress to put on her. So then I have two dolls and I need to make a lot of outfits for them. I totally find the fun in creating the little things. Yes, there's a lot of ends to weave in. Every color change on that hat was an end. But now with Bag O'Day Crochet, nope. Um, I had one end and I'm gonna start that V ruffle pattern. The only ends will be when I attach, I'm gonna do some really fluffy white ripples on the sleeves and they'll have matching outfits. They're little 80s outfits, 80s, 90s. Um, so the baby girl, I saw in the description box, it was written that she was, um, it said 1980s preemie cabbage patch. Um, so in my mind, I, oh, she's from the eighties. Well, after doing some research about the eighties, come to find out cabbage patch was created. The first one was marketed and sold in 82. My baby's got a mystery. So, and then in my mind, I think I, I changed the numbers because he was 91. I was thinking she was 81. She's an 84. She's still an older lady. So just like Benjamin Button here, aging backward, if you haven't seen that movie, it is a really good Brad Pitt movie. Um, he ages backward. So... Even though Benjamin looks like a young man, he's really an old, old soul. <laughs> and so now I have a baby girl coming and we're gonna need to think of a name for her. Um, I did have to push away some very bad names suggested by the kids, like a creepy baby. Mom, get rid of it. <laughs> My kids are older. They're not interested in playing with the dolls, but I do have my niece and I don't know. There's some other little kids in my life. We'll see. Um, I have a really nice wicker basket that I'm planning on putting the dolls in. And then as I create clothes, I'll throw it in the basket and we'll just keep it around the house. I mean, somebody will come to visit. They can, I don't know, play with the dolls and we'll haul out the Lego totes and you should always have some little toys around entertainment. So I did that and I worked on this for two days and then I started that one what else did I work on yesterday oh um Connie just another stitch is having a three-year anniversary and she has a fun video out 
where you she lists um, prizes that were donated from different channels and lots of links to check out and, and new channels and people to meet. And you enter keywords creatively and then you those are the drawings that you enter. She'll pull the names, the words. Really fun. There's a lot of random words. They're all loosely associated with cats. <laughs> of course, right? <laughs> so I did that. I had to, I wrote down all the words of the en entries that I wanted to, and the, the keywords for the raffle bits that I wanted to enter in. So then I had to put them all in a fun little storyline. Uh, that took some time. But it was fun. I didn't mind at all. Just a little brain game. And what did I do? Um, I only worked two rows on the granny sweater yesterday morning before I even got out of bed. I reached over to the side of the bed and leaned over and I grabbed my tote bag that wasn't too far. And I just worked two little sleepy rows. <laughs> It's coming together. Gotta, I gotta keep keep working on it. I don't be, want it to become a dusty whip. Plus, what I really want to do is make one with no ends. I want to use my um, some of my hanks. I got a couple of hanks in the same colorway, and I just want all those repeating stitches to just be all one solid strand, and then a very neutral top. Eh. What do we call projects that are just rolling around in our minds that we're just thinking about? Once you get it on the hook, it's a whip. It's a work in progress. But what is like a, a pre-whip? <laughs> One where you're just like, you know, jotting down notes or yarn ideas are in your mind or you're, you're fiddling around with things. I've got a lot of things in my mind like that right now. Um, luckily I made notes on my phone and the little notepad screen, I'm able to label each and then it, it opens it like a, a chapter in a book. I have fair coming up and I've been doing research on that. So I've been making notes about what have I recently created that would qualify to be entered in the fair? How many items do I want to enter? It's my first time entering the fair, so I don't want to enter into every category as much as possible. Plus, I'm not sure about um, taking and leaving my precious items at fair. Um, we haven't been separated very long. You know, I've got anxiety over if it disappears or goes home illegally with somebody else or something crazy like that. Um, I have to trust the system. That's part of it. So I need to get those together. Fair. And then there's a collab coming many, many, many months from now. <laughs> and it'll be five items that I make. It'll be four. It's five items that I'm going to make. And so I kind of need to research and roll around ideas in my mind and, you know, start gathering that together and thinking about um, what yarn, you know, sometimes when we order yarn, it takes a long time for it to get here. Or even if we're pulling from stash, we might start a project and decide that that yarn isn't really suitable for what you had in your mind's eye. So I've, I've got notes for that. I think it would help if while I'm making notes and creating those ideas, I have littler things to work on that I could just set down. Of course, the baby items are going to fair, but that's where that um, granny poncho's coming in to play need something I can pick up that I just really need to just work on not just think on <laughs> well today is Friday so that leaves Saturday and Sunday with open time for working and thinking on yarn right working and thinking about yarn it's an amazing hobby can go with us anywhere we want to go there's no rules you want to change up what you're doing, change it up. You want to gift it away, gift it away. <laughs> it's an incredible hobby. I'm so glad you're able to come and visit with me and talk about it. What are you working on? It's that downtime. 
we had all that Christmas rush and all that chaos from holiday cheer and and now we're into January and things are chilly and cold so people are still um, wrapping themselves in yarn what are you working on leave me a comment below I love to hear from you guys I love to know what you're working on thank you for visiting take care bye bye